Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Owen, nutrition expert and wellness coach. I'm going to talk to you today about progressive training. A lot of people who go to the gym and follow program make one crucial mistake. They don't follow the program to its completion. Most programs will take about three to four months. And the main problem they have is that they, they don't see the results that they want to see after, say, a month of it. And so they change programs. And this is key, and I'm guilty of this as well, is that they will follow a muscle building program for about a month and then look in the mirror and say, like, I'm too heavy, I'm too big, I'm bigger than I want it to be. So then they follow a fat loss program. They're flip-flopping from one program to the next, and that is one crucial mistake. If you are repeatedly changing programs, you're never going to see the results, you're never going to achieve your health goals. Here's how a good program is set up in phases, in different phases, and each phase is supposed to tackle a different aspect of your goals. And we call these phases uh, either periodization because they're all both they're different periods, and if one period builds on a previous period, it's called progressive training. An example of a well-designed program will usually build on muscle growth in the first couple of phases. Fat loss is going to be really more towards the end of it. So say for the first month, we're probably going to have you lifting heavy really build mass as much as possible. Now increased lean tissue mass means also uh, increased fat burning throughout the day. In the second month we have those heavy weights but then we're increasing the repetition. But in order to increase the repetitions we have to bring down the weight. The third month will probably be bringing up the weight with the same number of repetitions. We're always building on what we had trained before. And then the last phase is always finishing up. It's always like uh, doing high reps of, of different weights and trying to capitalize on everything that you learned so far and to really sculpt the final product. If you do finish the program, one of the things I recommend is actually starting the program from day one again. But this time, trying to avoid all the mistakes that you did the first time around. Guarantee that you're gonna be making a lot of slip ups during the program. The second time around, you're gonna have it perfect. One of the common mistakes people think is that it's impossible to put on muscle while burning fat at the same time. But you have to keep in mind that a program will incorporate both of these goals in a, a long phase, three or four months. Usually what people do is they bulk first. They put on muscle as much as, 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 much as possible. Cutting fat is going to be largely due to your diet. And this was going to be throughout your training. But throughout your training, you're going to modify your repetitions, your weight, uh, your load, as well as uh, your supplementation. So this is really the, the, how you're gonna play with fat loss. So if you're gonna think about building muscle and fat loss at the same time, you're not going to really be doing that in the same week or even in the same month. There's a lot of workout programs out there, on, online, on the internet, on a lot of websites. Even your trainer might be able to give you a program. But make sure that it varies, that you go back to your trainer and he gives you something different to do every month or so. You're never going to get to your final destination if you keep switching paths. So you got to stick to that one road. So choose your program, stick with it, see it to its completion, and then judge on whether it works or not.